Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at the cross section of a square pyramid and planes. The question reads, in the diagram below, a plane intersects a square pyramid parallel to its base. Question, which two-dimensional shape describes this cross section? So this, the cross section is basically referring to the intersection between um, the pyramid and the plane, all right? Well, if you take a look at that intersection, the outline of the intersection, what kind of two-dimensional shape is formed, okay? All right, so to get us started with this problem, let's go over a very important tip that can help you easily solve problems like this, all right? So here's the tip for solving problems involving pyramids and also um, prisms and cross sections with planes okay so this is it right here if a plane which is like a flat surface like a piece of paper all right intersects a pyramid as we have in this case it also applies to prisms too okay intersects a pyramid or prism parallel to its base all right the resulting cross section or the cross section formed is what the cross section formed is the shape of the base okay this is the shape of the base so what are we saying here if you take a look at this shape right here this pyramid the square pyramid right the base is a square how do we know that the base is a square because it's a square pyramid so if you have a plane intersect this pyramid at any point and it's parallel to this base that the cross section formed will be exactly the shape of the base all right so since this is a square pyramid the resulting uh shape um for the intersection will also be a square okay if it were a circular pyramid the resulting shape will be a circle if, were, if it was a hexagonal pyramid the same principle holds it also applies to prisms too all right like right prisms so let me go ahead and take show you a visualization to help you see what we are talking about here. We're just going to restrict our example to a square pyramid intersected by a parallel, inter, intersected by a, a plane, all right? All right, so here goes a nice little visual right here created by Steve Phelps. If you want to access this visualization, there goes the URL right there. Okay, so here you have a plane and a square pyramid. All right, so I'm gonna, so you see the plane is at the base, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift the, the plane upwards into the pyramid and then we'll see what kind of um, cross-sectional shape is created. So I'm gonna shift it up, bam, bam, bam. You notice what's happening? It's exactly the same shape as the base. It's just smaller, right? Until you get to the top, then it becomes a point. All right, so this illustrates what we we're talking about earlier, which is that um, if a plane cuts a pyramid parallel to its base, the shape form, this, the cross section is exactly the same shape as the base shape. All right, it could be a different size, but it's going to be exactly the same shape. Okay, so you can see the cross section here is a square. So let's take a look at two other cases just for your information. What if the plane is at an angle okay if the plane is tilted like this okay it's tilted up so it's tilted up what kind of shape does this look like if the shape is tilted in certain cases you can generate a trapezoid all right so you have a trapezoid right here um now another case is what if the plane is perpendicular to the base and goes through the peak or the tip okay or let's call it the apex all right the vertex right here if the plane is perpendicular to the base through the apex let's see what kind of 
shape is created so we're gonna shift raise it up right there bam look at that so you have a triangle so if the plane is perpendicular to the base through the apex you have a triangle okay if it's at an angle you have a trapezoid all right and if it's parallel to the base you have a square all right so different cases but the one we're looking at is when it's parallel to um, the base okay so back to the question uh, we just have a snapshot here of what we we're looking at earlier now let's go ahead and highlight exactly what the um, intersection is all right so if you take a look at the intersection what is it do you see what intersection is the intersection right here that we're talking about is this outline okay if you slice the um, pyramid, the square pyramid, what's the outline of that area going to be at, at the point where you slice it? You see right there? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the cross section. Okay? And that shape is a square. The same shape as the base. As long as this uh, plane is parallel to the base, the shape of the cross sectional region is going to be identical to the shape of the base. It's going to be a smaller size, but it's going to be the same shape. All right, so this right here, let's go ahead and specify what it is. The cross section, the cross uh, section is a square. That's the two-dimensional resulting shape. Okay, so answer to this question is option number two. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to support our channel. Tons of support resources can be found on mathgotserve.com. Do check it out. Do let us know what you think about this tutorial. If you have any special requests, requests you can specify it in the comment section below. Or just let us know how your day is going. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.